الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Respected listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Recently, something has come to my attention that wallahi, I believe it should be addressed. So people realize this is the state of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One sister contacted me and she said that my daughter is going through some problems and I need some help, I need some advice. So I asked, what's the problem? She told me that my daughter sometimes she will have a shower with her clothes on. Sometimes I will find my daughter in a graveyard after 12 sleeping on some grave. Sometime I will find my daughter at two o'clock in the morning sleeping in the back garden under a tree. So on occasion I followed her and she was talking to someone and she kept on mumbling. She was speaking in a language that I couldn't understand. So I got a bit concerned. One day she went out with her friends. And I traveled behind her to see where she's going. And she ended up going to one of these clubs. So I left it. I returned back home. Went into the garden where she normally sleeps. There I seen a pile of Qur'ans with menstruation blood on it, feces on it, urine on it, and some of the Qur'ans were burnt. When she came back, I asked, did you do this? She says, yes. I did it. Burnt the Qur'an. I used my menstruation blood on it. I burnt the Qur'ans. I put my own urine on it. Why? Because my Lord, Shaitan, Iblis, wanted me to make this sacrifice, so I made this sacrifice. My brothers and sisters, listeners from all around the world, this is the situation of many. Many people around the UK have been possessed by jinns. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that every single person has a shaitan with him. But another scenario is that when a person gets physically attached to a jinn and in this story what I just mentioned was regarding a sister that is married to a jinn my brothers my advice is to seek protection with the ayat of the Quran to break spells. Wallahi, it is the plan of shaitan to destroy the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why? Because the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are going to Jannah insha'Allah. I pray to Allah the Almighty that Allah protects the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from magic from evil shayateens who are trying to attack them and deviate them from the path and the shaitan will never leave you alone 
until you leave the way of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and leave the ways of the believers.